Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with the WBZ News Update. Top stories today. The Lemonster man accused of attacking a flight attendant in the air is facing a judge today. 33-year-old Francisco Severo Torres is facing several charges. Authorities say 45 minutes before landing in Boston, he attacked flight attendants and passengers on board. Officials say he tried to unlock the emergency exit door in midair, and the crew on board had to block the entrance to first class to prevent him from entering the cockpit. Torres was taken into custody at Logan Airport. If convicted, he could spend the rest of his life behind bars, as well as a fine of $250,000. The first mobile sports bets will be placed in Massachusetts tomorrow. The Gaming Commission is deciding today on those final licenses. The launch comes just before the start of the NCAA March Madness Tournament. In-person sports betting launched for the first time at casinos in January. And if you're spending more time waiting in traffic than you were two years ago, if you feel that way, you're right, because traffic in Boston is back to pre-pandemic levels. Transportation officials say they've collected more than $215 million from drivers using tolls in the first two quarters of fiscal 2023. It's only about $5 million less than they collected in 2019. MassDOT says if the trend continues, it'll finish the year at 99% of the revenue it had just before COVID. MassDOT says this is not surprising since more people are heading back to the city for work. As we head toward the end of the week, let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Lexi O'Connor. Lexi? Thanks, Paula. Pretty nice out there today. We do have a lot of sunshine still out there. The clouds will be filling in through the afternoon, so enjoy the sunshine we have out there uh, early this afternoon, becoming uh, more cloudy through the afternoon, but temperatures are climbing into the mid-40s. We will see increase in clouds today and the slight chance for a few light rain showers through the afternoon and evening especially for eastern portions of the state, especially inside of 495. That's your best chance for a few light rain showers. Shouldn't be a big deal today. And then they're out of here tonight with a nice return to the sunshine for tomorrow. So our Friday is looking nice and today is looking pretty good aside from just the chance for a few light rain showers or sprinkles. Highs today climb into the mid to upper 40s and then tomorrow we'll get a better shot at the upper 40s, to even near 50 degrees with mostly sunny skies looks like the pick of the week tomorrow with light winds out of the northwest. Now then Friday night into Saturday, we're going to be on the northern edge of a storm system passing to our south. It will bring some light snow to us. It looks like overnight Friday into Saturday morning. Looks like we're going to just get grazed with a, some light accumulation of some snow and then through the afternoon chance for a few light rain or snow showers. So in terms of accumulation, scattered coatings for most of us as you move farther to the west, you'll have the chance for a little bit more. So from southern Worcester County into western mass coating to an inch is possible and it's really farther uh, southwest into Connecticut and New York. That's where they'll pick up a few inches of accumulation and then it looks like a more impactful storm heads our way Monday and into Tuesday. Right now it looks like this will bring us a wintry mix of some rain and some snow and a little bit of mixing as well as some strong winds and that will likely impact us Monday and into Tuesday. So our weather pattern is looking a bit more active for the start of next week. So enjoy the sunshine, especially tomorrow. And don't forget to set your clocks ahead one hour before heading to bed Saturday night. Daylight saving time begins on Sunday. Paula, back to you. Hi, Lexi. Thanks. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.